so beautiful. day three in Copenhagen. So it's genuinely the most beautiful day it's been in a really long time. I am just beyond stoked. Oh, my heart is so warm. Yeah, it's so sunny and it's first thing in the morning. Like it's not early, early in the morning by any means, but like no one's really out and about yet. It's still quite quiet within the city, which is quite cute just cause like I get to see all the buildings and then people on their commute to work, just on their bikes. So it's just really lovely. It's so sweet. Yeah, just passing all the really stunning architecture too is like, it's really cool. I think especially in the sunlight, you just kind of want to stare up at everything. Absolutely being a major tourist at the moment, just like smiling real big, staring up at all the buildings. I'm on my way to a cafe right now to have some breakfast and yeah can't wait it's it looks really good so and i've heard good things about it the restaurant that we went to last night ended up being great so i have good thoughts for these recommendations anyways i'm off to breakfast should be a really lovely day and yeah I'll catch you again once i'm there didn't think about when I was packing was that I'm wearing this denim jumpsuit and it's so sweet it's so cute but now I'm looking very Canadian tuxedo denim on denim so a bit goofy and one thing I can say about the Danes is that they're all so well dressed like every person that I've passed on the street just looks like stunning like they've got the best like outfit on coolest pair of sunglasses like really made up well cute coat, cute like pants. It's just like, oh, they're putting in so much effort in their day today. I feel like I need to step it up a little bit. It's made me feel like, okay, yeah, I should try and look better than I do when I'm going out in like my yoga pants and such. Very American, I know, but oh yeah, they look just great. They look really good. Yeah, so that Scandi style is very, very real. Everyone just looks phenomenal out. All the color too, I think that's it, especially coming from London. Everyone wears so much black and so much navy blue. <laughs> well, out here, there's just so much color. Everyone's got like festive, like flowy pants on. Like there's just a lot of color going on and I kind of love it. So again, trying to adopt some of that for going back to London. Either way, last full day in Denmark. Crazy! First Scandinavian country! Off the list! I just got out of Atelier September and oh my god, it was delicious! <laughs> I feel like every time I have any food, it's just so phenomenal here. Oh my gosh. I got like their morning plate, which was a very Danish thing. But yeah, their cheese was so good. The whipped butter was amazing. The jam, the egg, the, oh, it was just all phenomenal. I'm so happy and full, truly. Oh, and now I'm just in the sun, just full belly, ready to go to, the other side of the river. Oh, beautiful. Such a good day, truly. Once again, would thoroughly recommend Atelier September. I know that's a very non hot take, but oh, it was so good. It was just so good. Okay, so I picked up this cardamom bun because I've been told that they're amazing here. So I'm here sitting in the sun outside of this church, which is stunning. I just kind of came upon it. It's just beautiful today. I can't get over it. I'm gonna say it probably like a million times in this vlog. And it's gonna be like, oh, it's so stunning. It is, it is. And I'm just not gonna shut up about it. Anyways, I am gonna have this tea while it's still warm and just sit in the sun for a second. And I will give you guys my 
taste test review of this card of <laughs> the riveting content everybody has ever asked me for. That's the only thing that everybody wants. They just want to know a taste review of this card of bun. I just, I know what the people want. <laughs> Christiania and yeah I'm excited to see it it's gonna be really interesting but there's supposed to be no phones no cameras no pictures being taken so I'll try to get a shot from the outside but I'm gonna try and be respectful of yeah not documenting since they don't want to be documented <laughs> been just really lovely overall and it's been really mellow in the sense that like I've just been walking around and like doing all the fun touristy bits. I don't really have a whole ton to say about it. I think I'm just having a nice day and that's really it. That's all there is to it. But I did go to the Christian Borg Castle um, which was which is literally right over there like right there. I'm trying to go to Refn market which is on the other side of Copenhagen but it's on the water so it should be really really nice and I really look forward to it because I think the sunset there is gonna be especially lovely I think it's gonna be really really sweet yeah I'm just having a nice time I'm feeling real mellow and just really happy the sun's out I think I've just spent as much time as I possibly could just being in the sun and enjoying my time out with like the blue skies. Again, if you couldn't tell, which I'm sure every single person ever could tell, I have been desperately missing the sun in the UK. Coming here and having it be full sun, all blue skies, it's, oh, it's just been awesome. It's been the best. Being in Copenhagen has been so great. I think 
like that has like drastically helped with why I feel so good on this trip because the trip has been amazing but on top of that the weather's been like so phenomenal and I feel like I can be outside I think that's it is like I really love actually being outside. I feel like San Diego is very good about facilitating people's lives around being outdoors and like people's spare time with being outdoors. So I am so used to it. I grew up with it. It was always just a really big part of like my week to week. So I think that having that time outside be like diminished because it's raining or it's cloudy and you're not getting as much vitamin D. I've really been missing it. So coming here and having it be all blue skies every single day and getting so much sunshine. Oh, it's just been the best. So we'll see what tonight brings. Hopefully even more fun things. And yeah, just going from there. So I'm nearly at Ruffin, but I biked in Copenhagen. I know it's not a huge feat by any means since literally everybody here does it, but ah, this is my first time doing it and it's my last night. I just feel, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Crazy. It's gone by so fast. It's been two full days and now two half days. It's like three full days in Copenhagen. And oh, it's just been lovely. It's been really the best time. Yeah, I've had the best time <laughs> just seeing pretty things and going around, walking tons. Oh my God, the amount of walks has been crazy. And the biking yesterday was insane. <laughs> back to London later today but I'm gonna try and use the next two hours as well as I can so I'm gonna go get another cardamom bun because oh my god that was delicious I want another one I am fiending for it so I'm grabbing myself another cardamom bun then I'm gonna go to the palace in the garden so that's the plan essentially and then just head to the airport straight after that head back go to the airport and head back to Ye old lady, ye old London town. So, funny thing, the castle's closed. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently there's a private event going on. So, castle's closed, no castle today. So, I'm just gonna go enjoy the park a little longer then, and then head back to the shopping -y district, treat myself a bit, and then, yeah, off we go, back to London. heading back to the UK. Oh, just gotta be drenched in it at the moment. 